Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, special episode of Skyrim Revisited Legendary Edition Installation Guide. Okay, in this episode I'm going to go back a little bit and talk about a couple of things that maybe I should have covered by now, but, but I didn't. Since starting the recording of this episode, this guide has changed actually relatively significantly. What I want to drive home here, guys, is it's taking me a lot longer to, to do this than it should be taking you guys, unless you're following along with me, in which case it'll take you the same amount of time. But that presents a problem for the purposes of, of me recording this in that uh, Neo is continually updating this, and I was hoping he wouldn't do anything major to it while I was in the midst of recording it, but you know, it's about a month it's going to take me to do get through all this stuff. And um, as it turns out, he did make a couple of pretty significant changes to the guide since I started recording. So like I'm halfway through the guide and you know something changes that I've already installed. Now that was inevitable, right? You know, ultimately that was gonna happen anyway, regardless of whether I finish the guide or not. I mean at some point he's going to change things and uh, you guys won't be able to, to follow exactly the same thing that I did. But hopefully I've instilled the skills necessary for you guys to install all this stuff on your own where where it differs from from what I've done. I would definitely recommend you follow his guide. Now, if it just takes you a couple of days to do this, or you know, a few hours, or however long it takes you, then you should be fine. But if it's taking you a long time, and he changes something in the midst of your um, installation, that can get to be a problem, and like it's gotten to be a problem for me. So the first thing I want to do, there's two things I want to do in this episode. The first thing I want to do is to show you how you can fix that. Fortunately. Neo has used a, a wiki to do this, and wikis have the really cool feature that you can go back to previous versions of the of the guide. And let me show you how to do that. And he's even given us a link right here at the top of the guide. So this guide changes several times. Where you check for updates, pages, tools, histories, or by clicking here requires a. This is untrue. That does not require a wiki login. You can just click there and go in. I mean, you can see I'm not logged in. This page gives you kind of a, a summary of everything that's changed and when it changed. So you can see he changed the Vivid Weathers update. Um, sometimes the, the changes are very minor. In this particular case he he's removed about 11,000 bytes of, of data. Anyway, so if you are in the midst of an installation and he changes something major and you don't want to continue with what he has done, you can go back to an old version of the page. So for example, if I want to go back to March 8th which is kind of where he changed the economy, but I don't want to catch all of these things. I can just hit this link right here, and eventually, there it goes. You can see we've got a March 8th update, and this is the, the version that was current as of March 8th. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. I'm going to use this, this particular version rather than try to continue on with the current version, uh, because he's changed enough stuff back in here, all this stuff. I'd have to go backward and try to fix this, and it's just a, trying to do that is an exercise in futility. Uh, the more you try to go back, the more problems you're gonna have, okay? So I'm gonna stick with the March 8th version. From this point forward, that's not the version I started with. I started somewhere down in February, I think, uh, doing this, but nothing in here I think is major except for optimizing the textures. That was kind of a major change that he that he made. The rest of us, this, this is a future part of the guy that we haven't done yet. This is a future part of the guy that we haven't done yet. This we caught. So I don't think there's anything that's going to cause us issues. This would cause us issues because this was going to have changes that should have already been done that we didn't do because they didn't exist at the time. Um, so that's why I'm going to go back to March 8th. That's the one I'm going to stick with. Okay. So you guys can follow either along with me by hitting the March 8th one, or you can do your own thing and do what he's doing, um, depending upon how long it's taking you to, to install. Okay, the second thing I want to talk about is this thing right here, optimizing the Bethesda textures. Because this has definitely significantly changed. So let's go back to the March 8th page again. Now guys, I've gotten a lot of questions about this since I started this guide or since last month when he when he changed this. Because this is significantly different than it used to be when, when I recorded the original episode. So I'm going to go through this real quick and show you how to do this. 
and then I'll link it back from the original episode and say, hey, this has changed and this is what you should do now. So yeah, let's talk about this part. So I'm going to go to Mod Organizer and what I'm going to do, this is our, I don't know what you call it, this is our, our profile, our regular profile. I'm going to go back to vanilla, which this is, if you're at this point, I think this is what this should look like. I don't think we would have installed anything yet. Maybe the clean vanilla ESM we would have installed. So your version might look like that. And what do we have installed? The script extender? Let's see here. SKSE. We might have. Let's see. Where is SKSE? Yeah. I think we would have installed the SKSE. So your version might look like that, okay? Without all this other stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna put these in. So that should look like this, right? And this is where we installed the optimized textures. So I'm gonna go back, let's see, where, where'd they go? Let's go back to the optimized textures and let's go back through this, okay? So this is just a description of what he's doing. Uh, to obtain the optimized vanilla textures, uh, you can either perform the steps in the batch files located here. So let's take a look at that real fast. This is the DDS opt thing. This is compl complicated, okay? You can do that, but it's unnecessary. Or you can just do the following steps. Download the high definition base game textures for everyone, parts one and two, seven Z, and high definition DLC for mod organizer user part two of two from seven Z from here. Okay, so let's go take a look. So we'll go to the files. So we want parts 102 and part 2 of 2, these two things. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. High definition for mod organizers. High definition base game textures for everyone. High definition DLC for mod organizer users. High definition DLC for mod organizer users. This one. This one you got to do manually for some reason. So go ahead and save that. Well, I know what the reason is. There's no some reason about it. So these are going to take a while. So let's let those come in. OK, guys, so the files have finished downloading uh, after quite a long time because they're, they're, they're very large. So we've got this first line done. So let's install the high definition base game textures for everyone, parts one and two, in Mod Organizer. So we'll head over to Mod Organizer. And here it is, high definition base game textures for everyone. And it's part one. So we'll go ahead and extract those. This will probably take a minute. Okay guys, so this has a um, this has a faux mod. Now let me just take a quick look. Um, It's not gonna let me <laughs> look. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna put in here redo just so it doesn't overwrite the ones that I already have. And we're going through uh, mod organizer. So let's go ahead and install. So we'll let that install. All right, guys, this is just about done. Just to clarify, I renamed this because I don't want it overwriting the the optimized vanilla textures I'd already installed. But you guys should leave. Um, you should leave it the, the default name, Optimized Vanilla Textures. That's the correct name. Not that it really makes any difference, really, but probably good to leave it alone the way it is. Right, this is just about done. And there we go. Okay, so now in my version, because I've got all this extra stuff, um, I'm going to drag it up to where it should be. Which means we gotta go all the way up the top. Let's see, I don't know if there's a faster way to do this. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna put this here. Okay, uh, underneath all this other stuff, at least for right now. And then we can turn this on. It might take a minute to come on. There it goes. Okay, looks good. All right, guys, so that's the first part. That was the easy bit. That's just a regular installation. 
of the, the mod. So the second one, we have to extract the three 7-zip files from High Definition DLC uh, to a temporary directory. So let's go, no, I do that every time, sorry. Let's go to the folder. So in this case, that's this, this one right here, part two of two. So I'm going to right click on this and go to 7-zip. Remember we installed 7-zip, so you guys should have this. Go to open archive. So we've got three 7-zips in here. So I'm going to extract e-downloads hddlc something like that. Hit OK. All right, and then let's see, where is it at? There it is. That doesn't seem right. What's going on there? Oh, my bad. I had this one selected. I hate when I do that. Okay, unselect everything, <laughs> then hit extract. We'll go to the same place. HDDLC slash. Hit it okay. Um, I'll just say yes to all. There we go. That's what we should have. We should have the three seven zips. Okay. So that's what we're after. So this is in downloads HDDLC. So just a temporary directory. Doesn't really matter where you put it. Now we're going to install the extracted three files in Mod Organizer. So we'll go here. We'll hit this little button up here. That's the manual installation. We're going to go to no, not Mod Organizer, E, E Drive, for me, wherever you guys put that that folder. In my case, it's in, un, under the E Drive downloads, HDDLC. So we're going to install all three of these. So let's go ahead and open that one. Let that install. Okay, we got a O mod, but nothing to it, just install. All right, there we go, guys. Now at the bottom, we should have Optimized on guard textures HD. So again, I'm going to drag this up. In my particular case, you guys won't have to do this because you, don't, you won't have all these installed yet. Um, and I'm going to put it right underneath this one. You can go ahead and turn it on. Hit this again. So we did Dawn Guard. Let's do Dragonborn. Same thing, guys. And go ahead and install. Um, I'll leave the, the name alone. I should say, guys, when you're doing this, I'm not sure at this point in the guide if we will have done this already or not, but if it comes up and asks you if you want to extract the DDS files, you should say yes. Um, that's what we're doing right here, is extracting the DDS files. And there's a checkbox that says, remember this selection? You should check that and, and hit OK. Um, I'm not sure in the guide whether or not we would have done that by now. We may have. Uh, I'm not really 100% positive. It's right here. So the first time a mod is installed that contains a BSA file, mod Argus will prompt to extract it. Respond yes and check the box labeled remember selection to prevent future prompts. If the prompt is needed again in the future, yeah, okay. Um, which is... actually below where we are right now. So you probably, you might not have done this yet. So when you when you install these, you might get a box that says, do you want to extract, you know, like it says down here, do you want to extract the, uh, the BSA file? And you should say yes, always. And just, just hit that remember selection button. Okay, we're just about there. This is a long one. Okay, let's drag that up. Um, the order here is important, guys, so uh, make sure you put these in the right order. We're, we're just kind of setting them generally where they're going to be, but there's a specific order we're going to use in a minute. Okay, so we did Dawn Guard and Dragonborn. Let's do the other one, which is going to be Hearthfire. This should be shorter. Yeah, it's a lot shorter. So we've got a foam mod again. Go ahead and install. There we go. I didn't think it was that short. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, there we go. So we'll drag this up. And then we'll turn both of these on. Okay. So that's the way things should look at this mo at, the, at the moment for you guys, ignoring all these ones that I have off. You guys won't have these yet if you're following from episode 9. Okay. Now let's look at our instructions. Wherever they went. There they are. Okay, so we did this line right here, so we're done with this box. We're going to head down to this box. Start mod. We already have mod organizer start. Um, we activated the newly created folders in the left pane, so that's this bit that we did um, right here. We, we checked all these on. Okay, so drag and drop the mods in the order specified below based on the method used to install. So this is the DDS opt method, which we didn't use. We used the optimized vanilla texture mods. So we're going to use optimized vanilla textures HD. So, let's see here. I'll turn this into a window so we can see everything at the same time. So that's what this one, guys, that I renamed this. So they want this on top. So that goes there. Then unmanaged Dawn Guard. Then optimize Dawn Guard textures after Dawn Guard. Then unmanaged Hearthfire. Then optimized Hearthfire. Then unmanaged Dragonborn, optimized Dragonborn textures. So there you go. And then the unmanaged uh, high res textures. And then clean vanilla ESMs go here. And Skyrim script extender goes there. That's what it should look like yeah, when you're done. Okay. And again, the order is important because it, things that that overwrite other things. So anything that appears green is being overwritten by the thing that I have selected. So, for example, the optimized dragon bar texture overwrites something on, in here. And actually, something down in here is overriding something in here. So, it, you know, if you had this thing down here, you'd end up overriding something in here, and that's not what you want. You want it to overwrite these things to overwrite this. All right, so that's how that works. Okay, so that's what your thing should look like. Again, ignoring these ones that I have unchecked. And from there, you should be able to continue on. Okay, gang, so... That's what you should have. I am going to undo all of this that I did <laughs> and go back to my other profile because again, I'm going to follow the the uh, old version. Although I could leave these, I suppose. It's tempting. But I think I'm gonna go back to the ones I had just because I know they worked and I don't wanna mess with, with something that was already working at this point. So yeah, so I'm gonna undo all that and when we come back on the next episode, um, we'll be back to our, our normal profile, the, the Skyrim Revisited, which is this one. And you'll see these guys are all unchecked. And I've got these guys pretty much the same way we had them before. Okay, so there you go. I hope that helps. Yeah, I hope you guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the, in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them, but I, hopefully that'll get you through. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.